What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's Thursday. You know what that means? Ticket Tip Thursday. Oh yeah, exciting stuff. We got lots and lots of great things to talk about today. So let's begin. We got a question today from Yoslin Hernandez. Yoslin Hernandez says, I might be late, but if you read this, I have a question. Well, I got an answer. If I continue with my tickets and the refund window closes and the event later on gets canceled, will my money be lost? Excellent question, Yoslin. Let me tell you all about it. Very simply, when an event is canceled, the answer is very, very simple. You're always gonna get your money back. Let's use an example, shall we? All right, so a couple months back, you bought some tickets, they went on sale, you got some great seats, awesome, yada, yada, yada. Find out the event has actually been postponed. It's been postponed, it now has been officially rescheduled as well. This is your mission. Should you choose to accept it, you have to make the following decision. Refund or keep the tickets. This message will self-destruct in two seconds. So, what are you gonna do? You have to make a decision. You decide you wanna keep the tickets. Fantastic, wonderful, excellent, all amazing options. So now we get ahead a few more days, weeks, months. And all this time we find out the event's actually going to get canceled, unfortunately. Ah, oh, this sucks, this is terrible, this is horrible. What about my money, though? Very simply, you'll always you'll get your money back. What is that be doing? Oh my. It's massive. Very simply, if an event gets canceled, regardless of whether it's before the 30-day window, after the 30-day window, any time at all, if an event gets canceled, you will always get your money back. Caveat. If you're buying it through Ticketmaster, you'll always get your money back. If you buy it through StubHub, VividSeed, SeatGeek, or these other resale markets, it really depends on their policy. StubHub and others, they've all now begun adopting a credit policy instead of a cash policy unless you live in certain states. So go ahead and make sure you take a look at all that. I'll put a link in the description below to see if your state qualifies or not. Each website, each venue, each place where you buy your tickets from, they work a little bit differently. If you bought them from a box office directly, sometimes they might issue you a credit, they might issue you a refund, they might issue you an exchange option. There are a few different things. Every venue, every location is a little bit different. Ticketmaster though, very simply, if an event gets canceled, bam, gonna get your money back. No questions asked, no ifs, ands, or buts. But it brings up another interesting point. What happens if an event gets postponed, gets rescheduled, you decide not to take the money at that point, you don't get the refund back, you decide you wanna keep the tickets, and then you find out again later on, a couple months down the road, the event's been postponed again. Oh. At this point, something very interesting happens. A new 30-day window will begin. Why is that? Because it's still following the same policy. Anytime an event has been postponed and rescheduled, there will be a new 30-day window that will open up, giving you the option to request that refund. So if you missed it the first time, fear not, because if it gets postponed yet again, you can go ahead and request that refund. No questions asked. Very simply, we'll just go through the same process as before. If you're interested in learning how to actually go ahead and get that refund, click up over here. It'll be just what you need to make sure you go ahead and request that refund. All in all, if an event gets canceled, you get your money back, unless you bought it on the secondary market, then pay attention to the terms and conditions. And if an event has been postponed yet again, go ahead, request that refund if you want it, it's a new 30 day window that will then open up. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button down below. It's, it's that little one, it's nice. If you have any other questions for Ticket Tip Thursday, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment so I can go ahead, find you, answer your questions, make sure you get all the information you need. And last, see you guys next time.